thanks for coming, guys. This is very cool. First time I ever went to get a record was I've seen a record store like this, and I got Weezer Blue Album and Skank and Pickle. And Weezer Blue Album, I still listen to Skank and Pickle. I don't really. <laughs> um, but that was, you know, it's like an experience to go to the record store and pick something up and, and actually do it physically. I don't know, it means something when you drive to a place and you get it and you hold it in your hand and you walk out the door. In high school I came here and I saw Ash do the same thing. It's definitely like more intimate and there's a, you can actually talk to every single person in the room. I hate when you play a show and you don't feel like you had any kind of connection with anybody. You're just like, I don't know, it was like this faceless mass and then you played and you got out. So this is always more fulfilling when, when there's the opportunity for that. We try to keep it loose, you know, we try to keep it spontaneous. It's hard when you go out there and you're like, oh, I would do like this regimented like script or something. We've always had creative freedom in any scenario that we've been in, and I know there are bands who don't. I think that um, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades, at least if you're doing things on your own, like we generally do. You know, you, the whole experience of ingesting the music is a part of the experience, and you can't overlook it. I know some people are kind of just like, I make the tunes, and then I step out the door. It's fine, that's a good way to be, I guess, but the rest of it exists. The designing website and music videos and the album artwork. Even like t-shirt designs is kind of part of it, you know? And I think is important. I kind of feel like this day and age you can figure out how to do anything you want on your own. All that information is out there. Google it. Exactly what you want to do, just type that in and it'll tell you what to do. And then you'll do that 400 times and then you'll know everything. That's just how it works these days. To make a song, you have to do other things and make songs, you know, because you have to have something to make a song about. But I don't have hobbies, you know, I'm not like a cyclist or, or anything like that, but you gotta take, take breaks for, for experiencing and thinking about things in a new way. This is Forrest from Hell Goodbye. We're at uh, Fingerprints Records in Long Beach. Support your local record store. Hey!